They're just so cute! Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Kelly and welcome to Kayla Creates. And welcome back to another marine biology video. So I absolutely love filming these. It gives me a chance to be a little bit more creative with my looks. Um, but also it gives me an opportunity to teach you guys a little bit about some animals that you might not know a whole lot about. Um, I am an educator at an aquarium, so I absolutely love doing this, um, even on my own time. So today I am doing a puffer fish, and this is the long-spined porcupine fish. So porcupine fish are just basically another type of puffer fish that have especially long spines. So traditional puffer fish usually do not really have any spines, they usually just puff up if they need to, but there is a separate, um, more of a genus uh, that's called a porcupine fish. There's no set rules on what to call these animals, so it all just kind of depends on what you guys are feeling. So the this specifically is the long-spined porcupine fish. It is a very common species, especially in um, tropical waters. It is not endangered at all, so these guys are absolutely fine, and you probably will see one if you ever go snorkeling in some tropical waters. Um, so it is found all over the place, and some things that I really like to eat are some sea urchins and hard-shelled mollusks. So that includes other, um, they like to eat clams, and they like to eat, uh, uh, why can't I think of what it's called? scallops and things like that. Um, they don't have regular teeth like a lot of fish do. They have um, almost like a beak-like structure. So all their teeth are all fused into one, into a beak, and they can crunch pretty easily. Um, a couple that I've seen in person, I actually have seen them take bites out of octopus. So that shows that it is pretty tough, that it is able to bite very well. So these guys are really well known, and one of the reasons why they're well known is because of an odd adaption that they have to protect themselves from predators. So these guys have the ability to swallow water or air, depending on where they are in the environment, um, that they're able to swallow so much that it actually inflates their body and can double to triple the size of their bodies. Uh, typically it's about doubled, um, but sometimes they can get like really big. And whenever they do swallow this water or air, it uh, forces these spines that they have all along their bodies to stand up. So basically, because of the, all the pressure, it forces them to stand up, which makes them look really, really spiky. Um, another really cool thing about them is that they're actually toxic. So if you just eat a porcupine fish, you probably will have uh, a little bit of a hard time. Uh, these guys are actually toxic because of a relationship that they have with a bacteria that is the neurotoxin. So a neurotoxin affects your brain. Um, so this is present in their skin and their organs and basically anything that eats them can get very, very sick along with um, get poked by all those crazy spines. So these guys... Not a whole lot of things want to eat them. Some animals do have adoptions to eat them, but obviously they are a very well adapted animal. So these guys are actually very slow swimmers. Um, you can tell by looking at their tail, it's very rounded. Um, and they typically just kind of like putter around um, under the water and they typically look like they're smiling. So they look like they're very, very cute as well. So they kind of just putter around until that they're in danger, then they can uh, swish their tail very quickly and have a short burst of speed if they need to. So these guys can get pretty big for a fish. Uh, they can get to be about a foot to a foot and a half big. So that's pretty large for a fish. Um, this is just specifically the long spine puffer, uh, puffer. Some other puffer fish can get larger than that, or the long spine porcupine fish, I'm sorry. Um, so other species can get larger than that. That's just about average size for them. Um, they're found around, I said that they're found in tropical waters, but they really enjoy living on reefs. They're very commonly found uh, around shipwrecks and things like that. I've seen a couple on shipwrecks and those are their favorite places to live because there's an abundance of food and they don't need to putter around very far. Um, but that is about it that I have to say about these long-spined porcupine fish. 
I hope that you guys learned something today. And if you guys want to see how I got this look, just follow along. So I have lots of pictures of them. Um, I don't know how loud to play this. I have lots of pictures of them. They look kind of like this. Um, they're basically your typical puffer fish that you would think of. They have stripes and lots of spines. So I'm going to attempt to do an eye makeup look like that. So first of all, I'm gonna be doing my eyebrows. I'm gonna be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow with um, its brush. This is in the shade Taupe. Eyebrows are on. I look more like a human. Um, next, I'm going to be cutting my brows using my Tarte Shape Tape and a little tiny concealer brush by e.l.f. Uh, next, I'm going to prime my eyes using my Morphe um, eyelid primer. I think the palette that I'm going to be using today is my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, just because that has a lot of the colors that I'm looking for today. Um, I'm going to set my eye primer using um, the white chocolate shade, and this is an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. Um, I think what I'm going to do is draw the stripes of the puffer fish on my upper lid. I'm gonna do it with a um, Luxie mini round brush, and I'm gonna start with the shade right here. This is the semi sweet shade. And I'm just gonna keep packing this on until it's the color that I want. I'm gonna be taking this, uh, this is an Ipsy brush that I have randomly. It's a nice blending brush, and I'm just gonna blend out those edges on the top because I don't want the top to be too um, harsh. Um, and then I'm gonna go in actually and cut my crease. And I'm gonna do that with, I think I'm gonna be going in with my Pretty Vulgar um, ink gel eyeliner. I feel like gel liner is just a tiny bit easier to use for straight lines like this. Okay, and then because this gel eyeliner I think is a little bit dried out, I'm gonna have to go in with some eyeshadow. So I'm gonna use this little tiny brush that I have no idea the name of. So the black that I'm gonna be using is from my Naked um, Smoky palette, and it's called Black Market. It is a little bit shimmery. I was trying, I was hoping for a matte black, but not a huge deal. And I'm just gonna stamp it on over that gel. Hopefully make it smoother. with a little bit of liquid eyeliner just because I feel like it's just still not as crisp as I want it to be. I do want to deepen up that brown shade just a little bit. I feel like you can't really see the stripes very much. So I'm gonna actually wet my brush, the same brush I was using before, and I'm gonna wet that shadow to hopefully get it to be a little bit more pigmented. for some stress, some spikes, I'm a little bit excited. So I have this chocolate gel eyeliner, and this is by Bang Beauty. And I'm gonna be using this because I don't ever use um, this color eyeliner. I use another one of those It Cosmetics tiny liner brushes. I'm just gonna paint on some little spikes. So 
that's all I'm going to do for now on my top lid. I have an idea for later, but we'll see if it works out. Um, so then I'm going to go in and just do my face makeup. Um, And then I'm gonna go in with foundation. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation in the shade Classic Ivory. And then I'm gonna go in with concealer. This is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is in the shade Fair 06. Then I'm going to set my face with powder and I'm just using the um, RCMA No Color Powder. And then before I finish my face makeup, I want to finish under my eyes. Um, and for under my eyes, I don't know what I want to do. I have an idea, but I'm afraid it's not going to work. So I'm going to be using my um, NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. This is the shade Milk. I'm just going to run this under my eye because they have white bellies. I'm going to actually take a brush and try and paint that. Some cream makeup. Some cream paint. So I'm going to be taking some of this on a um, little Alamad brush and very and just run it sideways. And I'm just tapping this on rather than like streaking it. Because I feel like this gets better pigment if I tap it. I look super scary on camera. Okay, um, I'm actually just going to set this a little bit with some illuminating setting spray. And then I'm going to bronze, because um, I feel like my face needs a little bit something to it. Uh, I'm throwing things. Um, so this is the Luxie Pro Precision Face Brush and the Benefit Bamboo Bronzer, or Hula Bronzer, just kidding. highlighter I'm going to go in with my pure bronze and brighten palette and I'm going to go in with the highlighter in the middle this is called afterglow and I learned that it works the best if I use it with my finger but this thing is intense can you see that shine oh yeah um, I am going to go in and I'm going to spray myself with setting spray again I think I'm gonna go in with this one. Um, this is the NYX Lingerie. This is um, Dusk to Dawn. This is a lot lighter than I expected it to be. I think I'm gonna go in with my Ades. Um This is the High Definition Liquid Lipstick. Uh, this one's pretty glossy, so that's probably a bit better for what I want. Um, and then I do just want to put some mascara on because I feel like I look really scary without it. Don't think I'm going to do any falsies because I don't want to block these stripes that I have on my eyes. Oh man, I forgot. <sighs> Almost forgot about this. These pufferfish have spots on their bodies as well. So I'm going to go in with that liquid eyeliner as well. This is the NYX uh, Liquid Liner Matte. And I'm just going to put in some spots on top of these stripes. I'm trying so hard not to look up and get this all over my eyes. This is super weird looking over my camera. But I swear it doesn't look as weird in person. It's completely washing out the white. I wish there was a way to dim my light. But I'm going to go in with the Lorac Pro Lash Pomade. Um, so this is the last step. This is my mascara. I'm just putting it on my top lashes. All 
right? So this is the final crazy look. I hope that I did this pufferfish um, some justice. Do I look like him? Well, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you guys learned something today. And oh, I have glitter on my face somehow. I didn't even use glitter today. But <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. I would love to see that. I love getting your input. Um, if you guys like this in general, give me some options of some fish to do. I love doing these videos and I'm starting to run out of fish that people have told me to do. Um, and thank you guys so much again. If you guys like me, subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you and I hope to see you guys again next time. Bye.